Hey guys, it's JT, and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Fucking shrine I see all the way up there. That's weird. Not quite sure why that's glowing. Anyway. We are continuing with the stable quests. And someone is talking on Discord. Wow. I'm going to have to look at that later. There's a video. All right. So we are gonna continue on with the stable quests, talking to good old Pen here. How's it going, partner? Hey there, partner. You're working really hard and really late, aren't you? Even though Wings, you've traveled all the way out here, that shows some serious reporter spirit. Well, let me give you the scoop. Some folks have heard a voice near here that sounds like Princess Zelda. I had the chirps and warbles from my little birds headed straight here, but something is fishy. Mm. For starters, the strange voice is, co is crowing from four hour plain to the northwest. My night after night after night. Leave the RMS. Leave leave the Erms. Leave the Erms. The Erms. This is what I heard. Didn't get too close. I'm gonna get out of there fast. Feel like a curse just blown through the wind. No sir, not gonna think about it. Anyway, all the travelers have heard the eerie voice of getting spooked by it. They've been throwing their weapons down the well and then running away as fast as they can. Could the voice really belong to Princess Zelda? She's not usually so haunting. All we can do is seek out the truth, partner. Even if it is a little scary. The Erms. Mm. Hey, partner. You're finding this all a little scary, aren't you? Can't blame you one bit if you are. Me? Not at all. Totally fine. Just worried about you is all. That's called projecting. <laughs> what I'm saying is I think we should investigate this story together. Just give me a shot before we head out. Actually, don't shout. We shouldn't talk too loudly. Well, dude, let's head out right now. Mm. Let's go, partner. Okay, we can do this, partner. Let's head for Furrow Plain to the northwest. Follow me. Right. Hey, partner, over here. Okay, I'm a coming. I'm a coming. <laughs> Did you hear that, partner? What are you, Travis Willingham? Scaredy cat? <laughs> oh, that's the voice, alright. And it's close by. It's is it Princess Zelda's though? <coughs> Sorry about that. Might be, but, but where's it coming from? <coughs> oh. Oh. Something stuck in my throat. Ah. My, my legs won't move. My wings won't flap. I'd dug out of here if I could, but I can't. Yeah, how about you? Leave the urms. If not, do you ha? Leave the herbs. Leave the herbs. If not, do you harm? Leave the herbs. Leave the arms. Leave the arms. If if not, will do you harm? We'll grab the tomatoes. Seek the storm, seek the storm. Fear it not, you will stay warm. Huh? Where did you get here? Do you need something for me? Why are you singing eerily? Leave the arms? What are you talking about? I wasn't singing anything remotely like that. I've never sung a song with those lyrics. Seek the storm, seek the storm. Is that maybe what you heard? Because it's what I was singing. You also heard it. For if not, I'll do you harm? 
Leave your arms or I kill you? <laughs> what kind of nonsensical song is that? Fear it not, you will stay warm. Those are the lyrics I was singing, if you put it all together. Seek the storm, seek the storm. Fear it not, you will stay warm. There's a song about a cute little fox who's proud of their warm fur coat and they chase the storm since they don't get cold. Anyway, I'm not trying to cause trouble or anything, but I don't think it's entirely my fault if people misheard things either. That's like how my voice sounds here, prettier, more refined. Hmm. It sounded fine to me, but everyone else is hearing dire threats. Leave the arms. I guess that explains why weapons keep getting thrown in the well every morning. That could be dangerous, so I collected them all over there. I've got no interest in them, so feel free to help yourself. Hey! Lay you down there, partner. What's going on? Tell me everything. It, so, fun fact, it wasn't Zelda. <laughs> I don't know why people thought she sounded like Zelda. <laughs> Ow, the partner. What'd you discover? Is Princess Zelda down there? No, it's just a lady. Is just someone singing in a well? She's just practicing? Huh, you see. And a voice echoed off the well walls, making it sound like the princess's voice. Acoustics are strange. Well, that's interesting. She made the lyrics that she was singing about more like threats to everyone who heard her. <laughs> so the mystery is solved. Now I know why I had all those goosebumps. I sensed one heck of a story coming my way. Yeah, t totally. It wasn't because I was scared out of my boots. Fuck off. Shut up. Thanks for the help, partner. We've worked together to chase six of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Just as expected, partner. Tracy made the right call bringing you on. Hey. Zapow! Ah. What kind of weapons we got? We got a giant boomerang. Blue Moblin Smasher. Something else. Blue Moblin Pulverizer. Blue Lazar Reaper. Yep. Oh, from a different sword. Huh. Cool. Let's hop back up. Got some fun weapons. Now, back to the Lucky Clover Gazette to see where Penn went off to next. Holo then. Making some good progress, if I do say so myself. Wee. Where'd he head off to, Tracy? Uh, to Bantha Bridge Stable. Livestock suddenly disappeared. So Bantha Bridge Stable is over here. What the fuck? What happened to him? I just talked to him and then he fucking disintegrated. He turned all blue and shit. Uh, I find it hilarious when you just activate your teleportation in front of someone. Oh, and it's a blood moon. But isn't that fun? 
There it is. Blood Moon. Time for edgy goth Zelda. If you've been listening to a bit of My Chemical Romance. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. I didn't notice the, the was this music that plays while her monologue is going. It was all like Cynthian stuff, like it sounded pretty cool. I might have to check it out later. All right, Pen. Hello there, my friend. Pinkman. Uh, is there a trail of pine cones I gotta follow? Hmm. Are they just of a recipe remains? Just the remnants of half eating honey and pine cones. Hey, partner, you're looking good. Were you also bowled by this place to the inescapable dug of a story? I'm chasing some new chirps and warblers for my beloved little birds. A group of goats is a herd, or a trip, or a tribe. Anyway, this stable has been raising a small herd of white goats. Or it was until all those white goats up and vanished all of a sudden. It's not where it stops, though. Some have said that Princess Zelda Mills will be involved. Looks like you've caught up with the stable. Well, I'm sure about what happened. George says the bottle that he kept Princess Recipe's recipe in, Princess Zelda's recipe in, was blown off somewhere by the wind. I got. I might have to start speaking slower so I can actually read the damn script. As a result, the feed he's been giving to his white goats was made of from what he could remember the recipe. Can't believe that Princess Zelda would teach anyone such a nonsense recipe. That doesn't seem like her at all. It's important that we find these white goats. I think we should also find the recipe. That might I, that might shine some light on what exactly Princess Zelda was up to. I'm gonna book around and see if I can turn up any other information. Oh. Partner, time for you to get to work. There's a big scoop here. I can feel it. Oh uh, yeah, I talked to the guy last time I was uh, here on my way to Rito Village. Let's follow the trail. Pinkone. Pinecone. 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 Pinecone, 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 pinecone. The word has lost all meaning at this point. Pinecone, 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 pinecone. Pinecone. Pinecone? Pinecone. 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 There's the goats! Hello, fellas. Bottle! Whoa! Oh, those are my white goats! So this is where they ran off to. Hey there, I'm just so glad to see you. You all okay? And you're the one who found them. Thank you, I won't forget this. This bottle, this is what I was using to keep Princess Zelda's recipe safe. Let me see it, I need to check the recipe. Mm, yes, yes. Wait! Oh, uh, oh no. Grind the pine cones into a powder. I was supposed to use the honey and pine cone hoe. I should have known something was off. It did look really hard to eat. My poor sweet goat. They must have run off because of the awful food I was making them eat. I'm so sorry. I hurt you all when I thought I was helping. It was my fault a lot. I would have run away too. I can't believe I doubt with the recipe that Princess Zelda shared with me. I should have noticed my mistake right away. After all, I really do want to take care, of the, take the best possible care of the goats. But it's not just about what kind of food you feed them, right? It's important to show them that you care with all your heart. 
I swear that from now on I will take care of you all with the same kindness and compassion the Princess Zelda displays. That's the best way to show him my gratitude for her sharing the recipe with me. Oh, and I really, really can't thank you enough for finding my white goats. And the recipe. When I head back to the stable, you take care. Hey, partner. Hello. That's not everything, partner. A perfect investigation with a happy ending. I expect nothing less from you. Hmm. Do you think it's a coincidence that the missing goats and the lost recipe were in the same place? Quite so. I have another theory. Maybe the white goats set out to find the bottle themselves because they couldn't stand to eat the wrong recipe anymore. I don't think that's the case, but it does make you wonder, doesn't it? we we'll work together to taste Zelda. That's, that's the Hylian word for seven. Don't at me. Zelda. Of the stories really relating to Princess Zelda. Don't fucking at me. I can read. Fuck off. Getting to the bottom of a mystery will no doubt improve your reputation. Tracer will be happy to hear about your efforts. Yay. Little extra something. Hey, I'm getting a bonus. Cool. Mish. All right. Back to the Gazette. Let's see what he's off to now, shall we? Well, now if we ever need pine cones for anything, we are... we're set. <laughs> Where is he off to now? <laughs> Wetland Stable. Rebene Bridge, Eastern Hiram Field. Pretty close to Kakariko Village. Think I know the area. That's the Woodland Stable, Foothill Stable, close to Kakariko Village, so probably around here. Looks like we're gonna have to do a bit of exploring. Might actually be over near that shrine. <laughs> so we will... There's fucking star fragments falling everywhere, man. Launch me! Come around, please, and thank you. We have our heading. While I'm in midair, let's 
that it's easier for me to glide on over. No, what we could do is we can go and get over to this one. Morok. <laughs> they're um they're distant cousins of Koroks. Although most of them are morons, so you can see where the name comes from. What you got for me, dudes? A bouncy device. Ah, these. I've used these. We use these in the flux construct fights. That is death. So we have got to... the ball back over. Fuck you. <laughs> I want to launch myself again. <laughs> Alright, fine. <laughs> Fuck me for trying to have fun, I guess. <sighs> yeah, These are just lights. Oh. He got himself into the into the thing. Uh -huh. I see what I must do. Looks like there's something up. Just a wall. Yeah, 
Link, for fuck's sakes. Look at that. There we go. Yay. There we go. Now I can, uh, now I can grab another heart. But first, uh, I'm going to be going to our main objective. Whoa. Chest. Now that I don't have to glide. And a way to get out. Cool. And I'm on my way. I'm on my way to the next shrine and the next stable Hyrule Castle's looking epic and scary at the same time so does Death Mountain looks like there's a core rock puzzle up here There's some deer. Alright. That works. Hello. Probably. Talk to uh, Hestu at some point about increasing my inventory. Avoid confrontation. I can get rid of my pin. Here's another shrine by the stable, the Tuka Rock. Tuka Rock. It's a hat made out of rocks. Americans will not get that joke. <laughs> if it was Bean a Rock, then they then they'd understand, but. Up here in Canada, we call them toques. There are only certain hats I refer to as beanies. Forward motion. Okay. Hmm. 
So with enough forward motion, I will drive over the lava. Let me make sure. You're centered. carry you. Okay. a wheel. Hey, all right. I figured it out. Cross. Ah. Let's 
Get an aerial view. We gotta bring something that will bring something over that will depress the button. to be engineer like let's do this in a way Little friend. <laughs> Gimme. Strong as a night sword. I actually don't really need that kind of stronger weapons. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Okay, hold on. Placing the wheels back. So that I can take the wheels off this and give us some extra power, just in case. Then I will stick the ball, then I'll put it back, I'll stick the ball in the center, then I will put it back. Stick the orb in the center.
bit too heavy. I don't get it. Like, you were setting it up so that this would be the solution. Like, it's called forward, mo mo forward motion. With enough forward motion... We could get... I don't get it. You made it look like that was the solution and it's not the solution? Fucking, can I only do it with two wheels or it's just too heavy? Fucking, I'm googling this because you're starting to sound like bullshit. Alright. Tears of the Kingdom. Forward Force. Ah, I see. Hmm. Okay. I unfortunately can't do it with four wheels. me I'm sorry god damn it it's even more off fuck why you gotta do this to me fucking that'll do I don't fucking care at this point as long as it works it's not what I gotta do I'm gonna Gonna... Stick chest on. I gotta attach these to the wheels. Because when they turn, it'll make like a paddle board. Which I would have figured out if I did the last one correctly, but oh well. Oh fuck! Ah oh, god! Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Gotta go this way. Alright. Is interesting.
Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Fucking... Jesus Christ. Good chunk. All right, I'm back around. Ball. Shine completed. I think I make a pretty good engineer <laughs> in all of the stupidest ways. There are no pine trees. Why are there pine cones? <coughs> Chickens! Don't shoot them. I shall anger the chicken god. He <gasps> chilling with birds. Birds! No! He was chilling with the birds. Ah, uh, what's that pen? Hey, Barnum, you have a good day? Oh, actually, hold that thought. We can squawk all about it later. I got a very interesting lead about our missing prisons. I can fucking read English. Fuck off. We could have a pretty huge story here. Sounds as if one night a while back, and I'm not sure how far, Princess Zelda borrowed the stable's farm tools. It's a bit unusual. Why would our princess need farm tools? But this story has another odd twist. She promised to return them, and didn't. Now this all might seem trivial. She's a busy princess after all. Still, these are strange times, so I got to thinking. Only weapons decayed during the upheaval. Maybe the princess was in desperate need of tools for... Wait, Ben, hold on. You've gotten ahead of yourself. We need to gather the facts. When, what, where, who? Let's start at the beginning. I heard that a man named Israel entered the tools. He's right around there. Watches over the stable's raft, I heard. Let's go. Let's get to work, partner. Hey, man, what's up? You Isra? Yes, you are. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. You saying you saw the princess? Oh, I was wondering when you guys would show up. You work with Penn for the newspaper, right? Didn't want this to get out because I didn't want people to think I'm saying bad things about Princess Zelda. But she borrowed the stable's farm tools and hasn't given them back. Ah. That was a long time ago, but I do remember that she said she needed them for something at Florit Sambar. It's around the river bend and then a good distance after that. Ah. I took the raft myself, but after all that stuff fell from the sky, I'm having a hard time getting down the river. So you might say I'm in a bind. I know we could clear out this mess if someone would take me down river to floor at Sandbar on the raft. Which I can do. Next time on Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to, it is entirely up to you. And I shall see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.